it is Monday morning. I have 12 eBay orders to pack up and ship out today. Pretty good start to the week. Let's go over everything that sold. First up, I sold this Harry Potter book set, books one through three. Typically, I would lot up books one through seven to make a whole complete set, but this one had its own little sleeve for just the three books, so I just left it as is. This sold for $15.99. Next up, pretty good DVD sale here, Demons. This is pre-owned. This sold for $17.99. Another DVD sale, Osmosis Jones in the Snap Case. This is also pre-owned. Sold for $11.99. Next up, I got this Hot Wheels little set of two cars. Uh, this was from that Hot Wheels buy I did recently. The packaging on this thing is like super rough, but um, it didn't matter. This thing still sold for $17.99. We'll probably still squeeze into first class too, so not too bad. Next, next up, got a viewer sale. My man Frank picked up a couple toys here. Uh, I think Frank's been purchasing something from my store like once a week for probably like the last two months now. So like, thank you very much, man. Like, I really do appreciate it. Um, first up, got this Jurassic World Dino toy. This sold for um, $7.39. And then this Vintage Ninja Turtles figure that sold for $7.59. I will um, pack these up together and ship them out together in one box for you. Thank you once again. Got another DVD sale. Um, this one sold for $14.99 pre-owned. Not too bad. And, okay, next up. I'm kind of trying to go in order as the orders came in. Got this Champion sweatshirt. This is new with tags. I picked this up at a garage sale. I have two of them, actually, in a multi-quantity listing. And uh, this ended up selling for $22.49. Got another DVD sale, Caprice, that is pre-owned, sold for $14.99. Got this Game of Phones, Battle of the of Smartphone Skills game. Um... This is pre-owned, but looks like it's never been used. I bought this blind at a garage sale. It wasn't worth much, though. Sold for $9.99 pretty quickly, though, so I'll take it. Um, another DVD sale, Do Not Disturb. That is pre-owned. Sold for $11.99. And then last up for the day is the sale of the day. Get the broom out on this one. I got this, um, this Dinky Toys UFO Interceptor, made in England. So um, last week I sold that Dinky Toys tank. This is kind of the same company. So if you see Dinky Toys, vintage ones, I don't know, made in England, I'm not sure if they're all valuable, but like definitely ch uh, look into it. You can tell this is kind of heavy. Um, this thing is missing the missile and still sold for $74.99. I got this out of a bag of toys for a dollar for the bag. Let me see. I think I still have. Yeah, it was in like a bag like this or something. I haven't even listed all the toys, but it was just a bunch of random old toys in a bag that was in the bag for a dollar. Uh, crazy sale there. Imagine if this thing had the missile, it would went for like way more. Um, yeah, get the broom. So I just started going through these books I picked up recently. I'm going through the boxes right now and looking up the books to see if they're worth selling individually or if I'm just going to try to pawn them off to like a secondhand bookstore. And I am very pleasantly surprised so far. I haven't even gone through two boxes yet. Like I, go I went through this box. I still have all this to go through, so I'm not sure about those yet. But so far... I have these two stacks right here of sellable books, and that's really good. Um, these ones are going to be the junk pile, and I also have more that I already have out of this room. But, like, that's almost like a full box just by itself. If I could pick out, like, two to three books in each of these boxes that were worth selling, I would have considered that a success because I have 11 boxes of these to go through. The fact that I'm only basically one and a half boxes into this and I already have like all this that I can sell is just really, really good. I'm so surprised. This is turning out awesome so far. Now it is possible that these two boxes happen to be like the best boxes of the bunch. I don't know, but I'll keep you guys updated as I go through all this. All right. It is the next day um, from the last clip you just saw. I did that last night. Actually, I just wanted to go through a little bit of the books just to kind of see what I was working with, get a little bit of a head start. but it is Monday today. And it is my first like full day of just being able to work on these books. Um, I'm tackling this book project before I even touch any of this. Like these books are taking up so much space. This is only a couple of the boxes. All the rest of the boxes are just like out in the hall in, in another room. And it's just, it's, it's a mess. So I want to tackle this project and get this done before anything. Now I have the storage unit. I have the space. Obviously this is a concern, but I'm not as worried about it now because um, as I list stuff, I have this, I have the space to put it now. And then as stuff sells, the shelves will slowly clear up. So as time goes by, this whole room will eventually, hopefully, be cleared up. So that is good. Um, with these books, like, 
I'm going to bring all the used ones. Well, basically what I'm doing here is I'm going through them, looking them up. And I got a box outside in the hall of the ones that I'm listing individually. And I got a big old tote, something like this, where I'm putting all the junk ones that I'm going to bring to a used bookstore. And my plan was to sort through all these first before even listing anything. Um, so I might not even get a listing up today. We will see. I might just go through these and process them. Um, if, if the tote fills up, like I might then stop and then bring that over to a used bookstore, see if they'll take it and then continue on. Or I might do a few boxes and then list some books. I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about it, but it's very possible I don't even get a listing up today. I might just be sorting through this. We will see how the day goes, though. I will just kind of um, just see how I feel about uh, when I get to that point. Um, but yeah, so it is about 9.15 right now. I typically get up at like 6.30 and the latest 7. Like I never really wake up past 7, but usually between 6.30 and 7, most of the time 6.30. Um, you know, I get dressed, I make some coffee, brush my teeth and all that, um, take care of the cat. I do have one little cat and, um, then I pull all my orders, put it on the table here, film it for YouTube, pack everything up. And then I used to, for a video like this, where it's like a what sold and I have the screenshots of the sold items and all that. I used to just wait until like Saturday and then edit it all in one day and it would take a couple hours sometimes. So now I just do it as I go. So I just take the short clip. And I edit it as I go throughout the week. So basically, it only takes a few minutes each day. And I do all that. Go to the post office, drop it off. Now it's 9.15. And now I'm going to start working. So um, going sourcing and all that, it's fun. Like this, I don't mind, actually. Like most resellers hate listing. And they just like to go to the sales and source and all that. Like I actually am kind of the opposite. I prefer listing. Um, it's very relaxing for me. I got my coffee ready to go. But for the next, like, at least six hours... I'm going to be sitting in that chair at a computer. Like, that's it. That's the day with my coffee. I don't mind. I got Spotify going. I put on music or podcasts or something. And I find it relaxing. And I try to take my time with it. Um, sometimes I feel rushed. Like, oh, I want to get this many listings up today. I try not to let that, uh, like, affect me and just kind of take my time, go with it. And, yeah, I mean, that's the reality of it. Like, a lot of the videos, you just see the fun part people sourcing I'm, that's i'm gonna be sitting in that chair for at least six hours just doing that obviously i'll be at the table here too but um yeah I, I don't mind it i like it um a lot of people don't though it is what it is all right so i want to show you guys kind of my process in determining like which books are worth sell selling or not so here we got the non-violent mad um when looking up books you have to look for the exact cover too like the same edition and all that because it can make a big difference so I typed this in. These are current listings, lowest price. Um, you know, there's $350 plus shipping, $748 free shipping, $499 plus $299 shipping. You know, that's $845. That's eight. There's just way too many books available for less than $10 that I'm not going to bother with this one. Um, now, I could put it for $10, and some people might like my photos better or something, but I'm just not going to deal with it. I have too many books. So this would be a pass. Next up, I have this book, New Young Ideas and Decorating. Um, there's only one active listing on eBay right now. They want $12 plus $3.99 shipping, but this listing, um, has a stock photo too. So I would potentially price mine even higher or at least around the same price because I'm going to have actual photos of the book that people are getting. And this is in pretty good condition. Now this one actually, so this is just like, even if it's not desirable book, it's a rare book. There's literally only one on eBay. Like that's insane. Now, if I go to solds, there is one sold for $14.99 and this one, is not stock photos. So yeah, I'm definitely going to list this book. Now, even if this book didn't have the sold, there were zero solds and just this one uh, active, I would still, um, I would still list the book just because uh, there's just literally only one available. So it might be a long shot, but if someone does want that book, like I'll be like one of the only people available on the whole entire website of eBay that has it. But um, yeah, it's good to see one sold, but yeah, this is an example of a book I'm going to keep and list. All right, so next book, this is another example. A Tale of Two Cities, Charles Dickens. So if you just type in A Tale of Two Cities, you're going to get over 4,000 listings on eBay. So to narrow it down, I typed in um, the publisher, Washington Square. See here, Washington Square Press. And that narrows it down to like 10 listings. So like some people want the like certain art, cover art or certain pressing of the book. So um, that's why you have to look at that. Now... This one, um, there's not many available, but look, someone's got it for $8 free shipping, eight plus 289. So there's not like a ton, like 
five dollar books like the other book was so like this one i would probably consider listing for like 10 bucks free ship even though it's more expensive than this one someone might like my pictures better or if this one sells and mine's the cheapest but this copy of this book is in super rough shape like look at the corners this is all dented up and the pages are kind of janky like this is borderline damage so i'm not even going to bother with this one but if this was in good condition i'd i would probably list this for 10 bucks here is an example of a more expensive book potentially uh the kid who batted a thousand there's only three listed on ebay the cheapest one is 20 dollars plus shipping and yeah um i looked at the solds there's only one sold for nine dollars free shipping but that book was like really beat up my copy is like really clean so um even though there's no solds that prove that these prices our prices people are paying. I'm definitely going to list this book um, because there's barely any available and the ones available are priced pretty high. It is Tuesday, almost seven o'clock in the morning. And um, yeah, yesterday I didn't list a single item, but I went through every single one of those books and looked them up and figured out if I was going to sell them individually or just like get rid of them. And I'm actually surprised I was able to go through the whole thing um, in one day, but I did do it. So here are the results. Um, all these books you see here are all books I'm going to list individually or in lots. Basically, these are all the books I'm going to list. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. This is a decent amount of books here. I mean, look at all this. Like, that's, that's a lot. Huge stack there. This box here. Like, this is, I didn't count them, but this is like a lot of books. Obviously, there was way more than a, that didn't make the cut. But still, I'll... I wasn't expecting this many, so this is really good. Um, also, it is Tuesday. I mentioned in my last video, I'm only going to be shipping Monday, Wednesday, Friday now, so I'm not shipping today. It actually feels real nice because I, I can just get straight to work. Um, the plan is today, I'm going to start listing right away, and then I think the Half Price Books opens at like 10, so I'm going to bring all the books that I'm not going to list on eBay to um, over there at that point, And that'll kind of break up my day a little bit and I'll see if I can get anything uh, for those. Um, let me show you the ones that didn't make the cut. Here are all the books that I'm going to try to sell or just donate or whatever. Um, these are all the ones that I'm not going to list on eBay. This is a pretty big tub here. And, um, yeah, obviously I'm going to have to like put these in smaller boxes because this tub weighs a ton. Um, I wasn't sure how many were actually going to be in here, but um, yeah. So this is an example of all the books I'm just getting rid of. Tomorrow will be the first day I make a trip out to the storage unit. So I don't have anything uh, stored in there right now, but if I did have stuff stored in there and then it's sold, I would then go pick it up. And at the same time, I would drop off the stuff that I had listed over the last couple days. So basically whatever I get listed today, I'm gonna start um, storing in the storage unit tomorrow. So I'm gonna make a trip over there tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'll take you guys with me when that happens. But for now, I'm gonna get as many books as possible listed and then um, hit up the half price books. I'll take you along when that happens. So I just pulled up to Half Price Books. They open in about six minutes, so I have a few minutes to kill here. Um, I feel a little bit bad. I'm gonna roll up right when they open with like a cart full of boxes of books. I hate to be that guy, but I guess I'm going to be. Um, I don't know if Half Price Books is like a nationwide chain or anything like that, but they're um, they're in my area and they obviously sell like used books, but they sell a whole lot more too, like DVDs, CDs, records video games, collectibles, board games, like just a ton of stuff. It's actually a pretty cool store. Um, I haven't sold to them in a long time. They obviously don't give you very much, but um, you know, it is what it is. Um, last time I sold to them though, like the ones that they didn't want, they still took off my hands. Like, I don't know if they recycle them or like trash them. I don't know what they do with them, but last time they did take them because I don't want to bring these books back home. If for whatever reason they don't take some of my books, um, then I'm just going to go to a Goodwill and drop them off on the way home because I I'm, I do not want to bring these back home. Um, yeah, so I'm not expecting to get much at all. Like, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't want any of these books. Like, they might not even take any of them because they're like older books, a lot of them. But we will see. Um, in an ideal world, if I could get like 33 bucks for these books for what I paid for the whole lot, like that would be awesome. But I really don't expect that. I'm expecting like five, ten bucks or possibly nothing. But we will see. Um, I'll show you guys in a second as I'm rolling this card in. So here's everything I'm bringing in. I guess it's not too bad. I got three boxes back there and then two up here. I'm gonna put them on my little handy cart. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, I'm done with that. And um, as I expected, I didn't get too much. They only offered me $5.50, but they really only took about like 10 books, like almost all of that they didn't even want. Um, the most important part though, is they kept the books and took them off my hands. So I don't have, my car is empty now. Like those books are just, I'm done with them. Um, that was the main thing. I just figured I'd get, you know, some cash if I could, five bucks, 50 cents, whatever. I will take it. Glad to get the books out of here. It is Wednesday morning. I have eight eBay orders to pack up and ship out today. First up, sold this Indianapolis Motor Speedway hat. This is new with tags, sold for $13.19. Next up, sold this Wonder Woman trading card from DC vs. Marvel that sold for $2.99. Sold this PGA Tour Pro Set golf cards. This is uh, sealed, sold for $9.99. Next up, sold a CD Maroon 5 hands all over. This is also sealed, sold for $16.91. And uh, next up, I sold this these two guns. These are parts for uh, the Mask Boulder Hill playset. Th these two little pieces right here sold for $17.66. Can I get a dustpan, please? Next up, sold this Micro Machines uh, Falcon Wing Sky Base. This is vintage, new seal in the box. This sold for $59.99, not too bad at all. I picked that up at an estate sale. Next up, I sold a book, The Phantom Toll Booth. That ended up selling for $19.99. And then last up for the day, I sold a pack of these uh, trading or uh, playing cards. These are sealed. I'm not really sure what they are, but they sold for $11.99. All right, so I'm making my first drop off at the storage unit. These are all the books that I listed yesterday. Normally, I'm going to have two days worth of listings to bring. But um, on Monday, I didn't list anything because I was just sorting through all the books. But yeah, so I'm going to put these on the shelf. And then since all these listings are already active, um, I'm going to use the eBay app to put in the custom SKU what shelf I'm putting um, the item on, in this case, books. Um, normally I would just do that at home because I'd be putting them just on the shelf right there. But um, I figured I'd do it here, that way I don't have to write it down and then go home and all that. Um, so I might actually label these, but even in my uh, eBay room at home, I don't actually label it, I just know what it is. Like this, how I do it is this shelf would be A, and, or, and this would be A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. And I know this one is B, C, and then I'm actually gonna go D, E, F, G, H, I for the shelves are gonna be here. So that one will be J and then K, L when that eventually happens. Um, yeah, I just can, I can, I can mem memorize that. So like, I don't need to actually label the shelves. I just know shelf A, one through five, B, one through five. It just all goes in order. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get these books uh, inventoried and then um, I'll officially have uh, inventory in the storage unit. It is Friday morning. I have eight eBay orders to pack up and ship today. So this week's going to be a little bit of a short week because normally I would ship on Saturday as well and include it in the week. However, since this is my first week shipping Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, the first one is going to be cut a little bit short until it all adjusts. So everything that I would normally ship this week on Saturday will be included next Monday. So next week should be like a full week um, after the transition from doing six days a week shipping to three days a week shipping. But yeah, let's go over everything that's sold today. First up, got a DVD, Paul Newman HUD, that is pre-owned, sold for $9.99. Next up, I got one of these Hot Wheel cars going out, Big Mutha. This one ended up selling for $14.99. Have another Hot Wheels going out, um, this Treasure Hunt shoebox, sold for $9.99. Got this Marble vs. DC Silver Surfer vs. Green Lantern card that sold for $1.99. I got this old vintage X-Men figure. Um, the packaging was really beat up and real in real rough shape, but I couldn't leave it behind. I just thought it was cool looking. Unfortunately, this thing wasn't worth too much, especially in the condition it was in. Sold for twelve ninety nine. Um, sold another Hot Wheels car, this Nissan Skyline. This is a good one. This one sold for twenty one ninety nine. Not too bad at all. I actually think I have like more copies of this same car too, so that's good. Um, sold this New York Fire Department T-shirt. I've had this listed in my store for literally years. It's probably from when I first started on selling on eBay. Um, it's on super sale because of that. Sold for $7.29. Wouldn't pick something like that up again, but like I said, that's from years ago when I first started. And uh, last up for the day and also for the week now is this um, DVD Sealed Vicious Season 1 that sold for $12.99. Just dropped my packages off at the post office. So um, it's late afternoon at this point. I had some obligations I had to do this morning, so I couldn't just like get to work right away today. Um, so my plan was to um, drop off all my listed inventory at the storage unit and then on my way back hit up an estate sale because it's on the way back or on the way there too. But I was going to hit it up on the way back 
Uh, but it's late in the afternoon now, and this estate sale closes in a couple hours, and I'm going to be at the storage unit for a while, so I'm going to hit it up on the way there. So I'm about to go to an estate sale real quick. By the time I get there, the sale has probably been up and running for four or five hours, so I'm not expecting much. But since it's on the way, it's worth a try. Just got out of the estate sale. I picked up a bag of goodies here. I'll show you guys um, all this stuff once I get home, but for now, I still have to get to the storage unit. I'm back at the unit. It's actually pretty late today already. I didn't expect to be at that estate sale so long. As you can see, those are the books I put... Uh, in inventory last time here's all the books i listed in the last couple days it doesn't look like a lot but there's like i don't know 50 60 listings right there um so i'll have to inventory all this and this i mean i guess i thought about it but i didn't realize until now that i'm actually gonna have to do it this is gonna take a lot longer than i thought to inventory this because i'm gonna use the ebay app so basically you have to put the book on the shelf all the listings are active go to the active listing revise it put in the custom SKU where it is and then you know complete it and you know even if i can do it quick and do it like a minute per book like i might be here for like an, for like an hour just putting these books away which is um i don't know definitely something to consider but i'm gonna get to work now and then when i get home i'll show you everything i picked up at the estate sale just got back from the storage unit so here's everything that i picked up from that estate sale not too bad um this was a cool sale I had to dig around a little bit their prices were like I don't know, most of their stuff wasn't priced, but the stuff that was priced was pretty expensive. However, the ladies were pretty nice and uh, we came up with a deal. So I paid $40 for my bag of stuff, which is everything laid out here on the table, which was a really good deal. Um, I'll start off with these, uh, these Clarins. Um, what is this? Uh, gentle Day Cream Sensitive Skin. I saw consistent sold comps for these for like around 30 bucks. So I have two of them. So, you know, if I can get $60 minus fees and shipping, not only does that pay for um, everything here on the table, I'll probably still make a few bucks profit too. So like right off the bat, just these pays, more than pays for everything, um, which was awesome. So now we'll go over everything else. Here is this little uh, Thomas train, Sodor shipping. Um, this thing should go for probably around 30 bucks. That's what I saw uh, some sold comps on eBay for, so not too bad at all. Uh, Cherry picked some pretty decent DVDs. Uh, this one right here is sealed. Um, I think there was a sold comp for like 25 bucks for this one. Um, right here, this one is pre-owned, but um, I saw sold comps between like 25 and 30 bucks. The cheapest this is listed on eBay right now is like for around 25 bucks. Um, if you see these Criterion Collection DVDs, definitely look into them because most of them are pretty good. You could tell by that uh, C right there. So whenever you see those, definitely investigate those because there's a chance that they're worth some money. Um, this one is a two disc set and one of the discs is a little janky. So I might have to get um, one of the discs resurfaced, which is not a big deal, but um, definitely something to consider. Always consider the condition of DVDs when picking them up because, you know, just because this is worth money, then the discs are messed up. I don't know, but yeah, not a big deal. Still great find. Uh, this Remembering Chicago again, pre-owned. Uh, those are nice sold comps for pre-owned ones, but I'm, I'd be hoping to get around 15 for this. And then this one is pre-owned as well. I probably could have passed on this one. Um, like this might only be like 10, 12 bucks, but it is what it is. Um, okay, here I have um, a Tolkien book. Now, I don't think this is first edition. It doesn't say it's first edition, but it's definitely like an early printing because it is hardcover. Um, so I have to do some more research onto this one for sure. But I saw sold comps on this thing for like all over the place. It's just going to depend on like what version that I have, but I didn't want to leave it behind just for the chance that this is a good one. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks really cool and like someone will definitely buy this anyway, but um, yeah, I, I didn't want to leave it behind, but I don't know what the value is. It might be worth 10 bucks. It might be worth way more. It depends on that's going to take some more research than I'm willing to do at an estate sale on my phone. Like I want to be on a computer when I'm doing that kind of research, but um, cool find nonetheless. Um, next up, I got these um, whole stack of, You'll Die Laughing cards. I think these are the, I think it's 73 or 78 version. And then the, I think the 1959 versions are like worth more money. But um, I saw lots of these on eBay go for all kinds of prices. Like it just depends on how many cards you have and all that. These are pretty cool, but definitely someone will pick this up as a lot. So I, um, I definitely picked this up. Some of them are messed up, but yeah, pretty cool cards. Definitely grab these and have no idea what I'm going to get on those. Uh, next up, I got this um, this cup. It's probably hard to read. It's a little dirty. It's going to need to be cleaned. But it says Anchor Hawking Fire King Wear Made in USA. Um, it's got that like milk glass kind of uh, look to it. I, I think that's what it's called. 
Um, this is just something that uh, it just kind of stood out to me and I grabbed it. I, I looked up that brand and everything. On my phone, I couldn't find the exact one at the sale, like this exact cup, but I saw similar, um, the, like this brand or whatever, like similar cups going for decent money. So I decided to pick this up. This will require more research though. Um, I'm not too knowledgeable about stuff like that, but I wanted to grab this one, give it a try, see how it goes. Here we got this anniversary collection, uh, Mormon um, choir thing, sealed four disc CD set. I think I saw sold comp for that around 25 bucks, not too bad at all. Got these sealed Congress cards. I don't think this is anything crazy. Um, I saw a similar one with like the diamond or something, so for like 15 to 20 bucks, so I just grabbed that. And then I picked up some uh, ornaments. They had a bunch of them. I just cherry picked some though. Got this old vintage Looney Tunes one. You know, I'll be lucky to get 15 bucks for that or something. This Lionel passenger car, Blue Comet, looks like I can get 15 to 24. And then um, I got these three here. Um, these two, maybe like 12, $13 ornaments or something like that. This one I probably shouldn't have picked up. It's not really worth much at all, but I can lot it up with that one because it's the same kind of set and all that. So I'll probably lot those two up together. But yeah, not too bad at all. Um, here's another interesting one, Haunted Wood, this vintage game. It looks pre-owned, but um, it's actually sealed. So on eBay, there's there's no listings of a, a sealed game, of this game, Haunted Wood. There's all just pre-owned ones. So I think the cheapest pre-owned one is listed at like 16 bucks. Um, I have no idea how to price this because it's sealed, but because of that, I decided to grab it. it might be rare. We will see. And then last up, I picked up for myself a pack of 50 envelopes. These are the self-seal ones, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll just use these uh, to ship trading cards and stuff. So um, not too bad little estate sale haul. And the numbers for the week. This week, I had a total gross sales of $473.31. But after fees and shipping and all that, my net was $297.76. So this is a really bad week. However, um, this is the first Saturday that I'm not shipping. Normally I would ship on Saturday. I have about $100 worth of sales that I would typically ship today and then also include in this week's numbers. However, since I'm doing the Monday, Wednesday, Friday shipping now, I'm not gonna be shipping those till Monday, so those will be included in next week. So I'm just adjusting here a little bit, but it's still no excuse. It's a terrible week. It's awful. But um, this week was a week of transition. I was getting the storage unit set up, you know, building the shelves and all that, and just getting used to this new schedule that I'm kind of transitioning to. Um, shipping Monday, Wednesday, Friday, also with just having a storage unit. So I'm actually pretty happy with the amount of work I got done this week um, while also like setting up the storage unit and all that and getting used to that. So I'm pretty happy with it. I listed a lot of books. So I picked up those books last Sunday and it is Saturday now. So in less than a week, I have, I sorted through all the books. All the junk books are, are out of the house. They're, I, I don't have to deal with them anymore. They're gone. And I also listed almost all of the, the books that I can list on eBay. And not only are they listed, but they'll, they're already inventoried in the storage unit and good to go. I, I still have a few left, like I'm not completely done, but I am like, I basically have like half a box to do, but like, I'm really happy with that. So within basically a week, I just completely finished that project, which is um, really good. That's what I have to do with a big bulk thing like that. You can't just let it sit. I need to get it in, processed and out. And that way I can go work on, um, everything else that I have. So um, yeah, happy with that, even though the numbers were bad. So I also think I'm gonna go back to that estate sale today, the one I went to yesterday. Um, there is a lot of stuff there and yeah, a lot of it was junk, but I'm sure there, if I digged longer, I could have found some more stuff. Also their prices were a little bit high today. They're doing 50% off. So I think I'm gonna go back and check it out. I'm not gonna include that in this video. This video is long enough already. Um, however, that will be in a future video if I even do go or even pick anything up. The link to my eBay store is in the video description. I'm excited to see how um, next week goes. It's just like a full week of having the storage unit set up already. And um, I don't know, it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully my numbers pick up. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Love on a tight rope. Don't look down. Juggling chainsaws in front of a crowd. I won't let you. Down, don't let me down